Hey guys, Dale Lou, Simple Living. So a couple of episodes ago, I was out planting. I talked about putting out some of these squash vine boar traps. I'm gonna show you the results. Um, I do have two kills, confirmed kills, but I also have one squash vine boar that actually got into one of my squashes and I went ahead and went in with a knife and killed him. Um, so if you're in zone 9A, keep your eyes out, they're here. Um, and they'll actually bring that, you gotta look for that frass. They'll bring that plant down to its knees within about 48 hours. Unless you can get a, a, a needle and uh, stab it, shoot some BT in it, or possibly, um, you know, use a knife like I didn't just kill it. That works as well. So just wanna do a quick video. I'll show you uh, uh, kind of the update of the squash. I only had two or three summer squash. And that is uh, one of the summer squashes what got attacked. The other two, uh, let's see, one of the other summer squashes uh, did get one of the uh, squash vine borers. And then one of the winter squashes is where, uh, was where the other bug got caught. So, hey, be on the lookout. Um, the nemesis is the squash vine borer. Be careful. Keep on a, a daily look. Watch for that frass, that yellow sawdust, wet yellow sawdust that's going at the base of the, the plant, or the base of the vine. If that's the case, it's infected, you need to go and get your knife or get your, get your needle and uh, try, to, try to probe and find that thing and kill it. Now what you can do, if you do have to cut it open, you go ahead and cover it up with a little bit of that soil. It'll, it'll heal over. And a lot of times your squash, your vining squash, it'll actually put roots down in another location. So maybe that front part or your original part, maybe it's not doing that good or it may die. But you still, uh, as long as you get rid of that squash vine bore, you still can get it to uh, the rest of your squash plant to keep on growing. So, All right, so I got this yellow squash. Uh, leaves look a little bit mildewed, I guess. I don't know, but uh, we're doing pretty well as far as production. I don't see a squash vine bore on, uh, that's tunneled into it yet. But I did put out one of these traps. Um, previous video I talked about it, but look, there's a pheromone in there and some glue strips. But look at that, the, uh, there's one of those squash vine borer. He's put up a fight to try to get away, but the glue got him. Um, so it did work. It did kill one at least. I was chasing one earlier. Um, don't know if that was the same one who got away, come back or what, but at least that one's dead. And I got this whole uh, squash, different different kinds of squash. That's more of a gourd. I think that's a Chinese uh, yellow gourd. I don't know if he was doing so well. They're getting not getting as much uh, sun. So I'm probably gonna put some organic fertilizer on it. Um, some of the fish emulsion and uh, kelp. Now those work pretty good. It's not gonna jump it up like you would a 2020, but it's a way to do it. Keep it uh, organic and healthy in my mind. So. I got watermelon growing back there. Let me see if I can get over. There's a trap over there. Let's see if we got lucky with another squash vine boar. Yeah, so nothing to get this trap. I just got two traps. Now, hopefully, uh, we can avoid these squash vine boars. It's a, it's a tough fight, though. We'll take it out. So I did spray some neem oil, maybe to try to keep them away. Um, it doesn't kill them necessarily, so... We'll have to do some BT. I got one spot over there I want to look at and try. Um, I think maybe it's uh, a squash run board's come in. So I'm gonna see if I can surgically uh, take care of them. Kind of hard to tell. Might be a little bit of frass right here. And so the other one's already been hit. I think it's worthwhile at least checking. Didn't look like it. If he is there, we killed him. All right, I'm over where this cattle panel is on the east wall. Look in here. I did get one more over there. He's all kind of torn up, but he's uh, it's another one of those red. Uh, Squash on boars. Glad I got him. All right, I'm getting to harvest a little bit of uh, some squash, so I guess I'm happy with that. 
we'll see how long I can fend off the squash vine board. This is the same one that in this trap right here, we did catch one. So, at least I got something. All right, so hey guys, thanks for coming back to Louisiana Simple Living. Uh, we talked about squash vine boards. They're here, zone 9A. Um, probably in other areas as well. But definitely zone 9A. And I actually killed my first one about a week ago. And I had some other people reporting they saw some about two weeks ago. And I did see one a week ago as well. Um, so they're here. And uh, just be on the lookout, be on the vigilant lookout. Daily observation to find that frass. You find a frass, you know what you got to do. You got to kill it. Um, you got to use that knife or you got to use a... Uh, uh, a needle, whatever the case may be, and, and probe and find that worm and kill it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, like that video, and ring the notification bell. Hey, check out the Spring Garden 101 series I got. It's a fantastic series that kind of takes you through the very beginning from planting your garden all the way to, to building and amending your raised beds. And check out my squash vine bore video um, that has a numerous different ways that we try to fool or prevent those squash vine bores from getting into our, uh, getting into our squash. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, like this video. As always, remind you to make memories. Make memories now rather than later. Make memories with family and friends. As always, I will see you on the next video.